but it should be something on this. I've, I've had a quick look, most of them are around this. So they're 100 each, agreed. Um, I'll show you the way that I roll, I roll the, um, the bread. What you're gonna do is get a tray, make sure you spray the tray. Us, when we're making stuff like that, always spray the tray, put one of these down, so the paper doesn't roll fly off, and it also saves washing up. So when we're putting chicken. So the way that I do bread is, I use my two fingers, I knock all the air out, like this. This is the technique you should use for bread. I get a corner, and I fold it into the middle. Stretch into the middle, I find another little corner into the middle. And I just keep working these corners till I, a little stretch too, like this. So this technique, right, so now I've given the bread some foundation to grow on. So if I just do this one, right, I'm not... That's that, too tight. So? Not too tight. And I want the, the seam on the bottom. I'm gonna try two of these with you guys. Really liberal with the um, spray. What we're going to do is we're going to put that in there so when it proofs up and cooks, we're going to get a little flat side. Hopefully, might be, I might get a smaller ring. I might have a look. So, it's lots of. Um, shape, why you need the ring? Um, shape? How much shape? So when you get on get poppy seeds, or maybe on two, or sesame seed for classic, classic uh, hamburger bun, in the oven, make sure they're nice and sprayed. 